How do you speak with confidence? One of the secrets is know how to build an astonishing relationship with your audience. That relationship is a major key to your presentation success. The first two ways you will connect to your audience of 550 or 500 are intellectually and emotionally. Logic makes you think. Emotion makes you act. Intellectual connection will come from your content and the logic around how you make your case. When you use charts and statistics and report on the results of surveys, you are connecting intellectually. Making an emotional connection is easier. These are three easy ways to connect emotionally with your audience. One is through stories. Second is to use you-focused language, what I call the I versus you ratio or balance. How often do you say I compared to you or we? You is your one word advantage. The third connection occurs by speaking as an audience advocate. Focus your content on the audience's point of view. When you work on the principle that everyone else is more interested in themselves than they are in us, you will never go wrong. If an executive says our new strategy will increase shareholder value to employees who are not shareholders, the executive is not speaking as an audience advocate. If they say our new strategy will increase revenue, which in turn leads to more job security, they are on track. Here are a few remarks to remove from your presentations if you want to make a connection with your audience. I am going to talk about what I would like to talk about. What I am going to do first is, instead substitute, good news, you're about to learn 10 techniques guaranteed to make your presentations memorable. Why not make a list of you focus phrases that would work in your presentations? Here are several to begin. If they work, adapt them for your presentations. In your experience, if I were to ask you, you can feel confident. How often have you felt, seen, experienced? When was the first time you? When was the last time you? It might interest, surprise, amaze you to know or learn or discover. Do you remember a time when? What advice did your parents, mother, first boss give you? Think back to when you. Can you imagine a time you felt? How do you feel when you are frustrated, excited, disappointed? I helped a sales executive from a hotel in San Francisco with a short presentation to bring a convention to San Francisco worth $500,000. They had strong competition from two other cities. When the competition is tough, the best presentation wins. I recommended a you-focused opening. In the next eight minutes, you will decide that the best decision you can make for your association and your members is to bring your convention to San Francisco and the Fairmont Hotel. That is five you or yours, one Fairmont. That creates a strong emotional connection. Good luck with making strong connections with your audiences. If you'd like help, let's talk.